Say a dude has a knife. <laughs> what, man? And say a dude grabs you at the same time. This is my friend Aaron. Hi! Aaron's gonna explain to us, if I've got you grabbed and I have a knife, uh, what should you deal with first? Because my instinct always is to just deal with this. Yes. At the expense of dealing with that. Maybe. This is not, this is not real. You're gonna help me with this. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna help them. Okay. I don't think help you. <laughs> this shit ain't never gonna happen like here, like this. I didn't say never. I said never. You but don't have to say never. You mostly, know what you're talking about. Mostly not. Most of the time but not. I, I just posted a video like two weeks ago of a guy that did that. By the way, Aaron, <laughs> Aaron Giannetti is the co-creator of the knife control concept yeah. system. Is that correct? Sure. KCC. I'm going to put a link down to his stuff down in the description below. He is uh, one of my people I go to for stuff about this grabby and stabby stuff at the same time. I know that if someone grabs you or grabs yeah. you, I know in my head that I'm supposed to deal with this. And that if I don't ever deal with this and I just chase this thing, that could be bad. Yeah. Do I address this or this? And even your words of, well, I know I'm supposed to address this mm -hmm. before this. Right. But that might not always be the case. I'm, uh, yeah, okay. Got it. Right. Um, we have to make sure they know. Yeah, because they'll be down there, but how yeah, are you right. not going to address the knife? So, exactly. I, I know Psychologically you're okay. speaking. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Right? The knife. Yeah. Scary. So I'm gonna wanna go to this. My eyes are gonna wanna go here. And, and whatever your beliefs are on parries, arm stops, grabs, that's a whole nother fucking video. But I, my attention is going to be here. Mm -hmm. If I can get to this, depending on the way you're leveraging and the way that you're grabbing, then this might be the best answer. Yeah. But it depends on how you're framing, whether you know it or not. It depends on how you're framing. Because if I can get to this, mm -hmm. and you have this loose frame on the outside, and I can bury my head and get over here, yeah. I'm not necessarily, it's not that I'm not concerned, however, I can get past your post. Now, if you move this any fucking different places, oh, yeah, it yeah, changes. Yeah. Like if I got something like yeah. this. Now or, I'm fucked on that way. Or I was gonna ask, wouldn't it change if I have you sure. stripped armed out, not moving you? Versus pulling, versus right, pushing, okay. yeah. All right, let's so, go. Let's do it. <laughs> let's fucking go. So this is going to be highly likely, this is gonna be the intuitive response. Is like, oh fuck, like doing. If you don't know anything, yeah. you're gonna do something that looks like what he's doing right something here. Something in here. As I go to do this, if I do get any type of linkage on you and go to hit, it's probably likely, probably, that you're gonna then make an adjustment, okay. right? So yeah. if I do commit my weight and I go to here, what are you gonna, yeah, start you're gonna pull, pull and start posting more. Yeah. So now this starts to become more of a problem than that. Right. So it depends on placement, it depends on intent, it depends mm -hmm. on your background. Have you done this before? Because some people have, some people haven't, right? By the time they get to the stage. Yeah. If we have to deal with this, right. like what are some of the shit? Yeah. Jacked up too now, good. yeah, this is fucked, yeah. right? Because now I'm like getting pushed through. I got the blade out here. You're stabbing and moving. You don't need a lot of power to stab me. And what, what, they, might not have, what they might not have seen in the first one is I was a little lax with it. And mm -hmm. we were doing kind of like bad. Maybe some people would call this like bad demo practices, like a guy just grabs you just here, like grab me here, I do this, grab me there, I do that. But it's not totally far-fetched that a dude would be kind of like a little more like, if he just was menacing you, not yet stabbing, you know, like holding you, menacing you. This is such a good picture. But what? yes, I'm, no, I'm, you're dead, I'm dead, I'm on with you. Are you listening to me? You just look really good, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this specifically has got yeah, me. Yeah, like, like you give me your goodies, yeah. mister, right, or whatever the bad guy said. <laughs> Yes. If I've not yet gone to, you know, the yes. sewing machine, yeah, you know. Or there's the video we posted a couple months ago. The kid, the, the kid that was getting bullied in the high school. Mm -hmm. And he grabbed the kid by the shirt and was stabbing him. That kid, what, he had a linkage, right. but he wasn't skilled with his He linkage. wasn't using it. He was just holding it. Right. So that's different. It just depends. So if I'm lazy on this mm -hmm. and you were getting, you were getting not only uh, head position, but also kind of on top of my post, which yes. you can't, uh, do it again real quick. The, Here? the first, yeah, yeah. I, I'm doing basically like a like a shoulder raise. Yeah. Like I, I can't, I don't have much power this way. Yeah, and then if I can turn against like path of least resistance. Right now you're posting on my right shoulder. Yeah. So theoretically speaking, if you post on my right shoulder, I should be able to rotate my left shoulder. Yeah, I'm not pushing up. against your post. Whereas if you're framing this way, push pushing up, like now yeah. I'm posted into that. You're more on my center line. This is a, a bitch to work with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a lot worse. So I can still make. Show me one initial. weird trick. One weird, one weird trick. Ow! Bam! Ow! Yeah. That's a magic trick, right? Yeah. Look, the, the most baseline one for here is when people go oftentimes, like under stress, I'm dealing with this, but I'm also trying to get away. Right. The get away is, is generally relatively, I don't want to say half-assed because they're under stress or under duress. But what you'd commonly see is like this. Right. Versus this is happening and I've made these blocks and I'm going the whole way. Like fucking ripped. 
right? With everything I've got. Yes. I do have some experience when we would teach cops retention stuff. Yeah. And someone's going for their gun in their holster and we're trying to teach them strikes or movements to you know, dislodge that person, mm -hmm. they like short stroke everything. They just kind of half ass, like you said, half ass. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, when you even, you wrestler grabby boys, when someone throws on a collar tie and we're trying to clear that collar tie, if you just kind of, eh, eh, it doesn't come off. You have to like, like rip that thing off of yeah. there. Same idea. Yeah, so you're committing to this. If yeah. I'm gonna get away, there's, there's, I usually will tell people in self-defense, I'm either 100% committed this way Mm -hmm. or I'm 100% committed that way. Mm -hmm. The analogy here, the way that would carry over is if I'm gonna run and I'm gonna try to break your post as I run, I wanna fucking run full energy. I wanna rip away and get as much of this as I go and take off. But it's so hard, Aaron. <laughs> because this is a knife. You yes, have a knife. I do. So how do I make my, like, so I feel like I wanna like do like this, but also kinda keep my eyes on that. Right. So it's like a, a vicious cycle. Yeah. You know what? It's fascinating. Um, practice and oh, training. Oh shit, practice. It's crazy. <laughs> practice. Time under, time under tension. So that's one. Like people just, if, if I'm gonna pull and tug away, like commit to pulling and tugging away. Right. Right. The other thing that we'll teach with this is like, let's say you do have a really, really, really good grip. Right. Just pretend. And if, yeah, right. <laughs> But look, you and I have little hands, man. We, grip is not going to be our strong suit. These little, things. these little hands, these delicate little things. So if I do right now, I'm going like I go to turn and run, and you're still holding on. Yeah. Well, at that pace, I need to start training myself to fucking hey, Try to go, yeah. turn back in. Yeah. And so all now, the way out or all the way in. Yeah. So I'm going here, and you stay on. Then I'm oh, going he got here. me. He got me. I thought I was gonna. I was like, right. And then you can work whatever magic it is you want. So, but that needs training. And a lot of people, like, the first thing, in my experience, it's like, okay, here's your short grip. And it's like, all right, well, so how do we do the, the grip break? And it's, okay, I do this or I do this, which we teach. But the first thing should be right. this, that be, or this. Just or run away. This. Just yeah. run away. That's yeah. the problem with advice, like, just run away. It doesn't address the, yeah, yeah, but how, though? Right. But how do I do that, though? Yeah. So one thing that you did, and I'm gonna get on my little high horse along with you and say you need to practice, so you need to train, bro. Yeah. And I know I sound like a broken record on all these videos where we talk about weapons, how you actually need to practice. There's something that Aaron did that, like even if you know the technique, you're not gonna be able to do. What he did, he did the first one, and he sort of simulated it failing. He didn't do it quite as hard, and kept me here. And then when he came in again, he came in pretty hot and heavy, oh, yeah. and put his head fast, and then stopped it right at head position. Yeah. Right there. So he was able to practice the move fast and achieve head position abruptly and dynamically, but he also did it safely. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can tell he's practiced at this. He's well, not true. Just, he's not just making this stuff up. And you can build. That was a long, uh, winded way of me giving you a compliment. Well, so he kind of does know what I he's doing. So click that link down in the description below. I feel so good now. So I'm stabbing right. you up. So again, if I can get away, I turn. You can't. Run, my grip is too strong. I can't. You right. So I'm moving. But now my arches are too good. Yeah. And now, and oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> so, so let's let's slow that down. <laughs> so he tried to run. It didn't work. He tried to go, my reactions are too good. I sprawl and get snapped down. Which looks suspiciously like wrestling. What? Yeah, it looks Never. suspiciously like wrestling. Yeah, funny how that works. So that's, I say, a pretty good basic rundown of like the kind of three, like a little flow. Mm -hmm. Like this, then that, then this. He has a little flow chart. Go click the link down in the description below. Knife Control Concepts, Aaron Gennetti at Endeavor Defense and Fitness.